Hello, 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 and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and it is the start of our third week here on our farm, and everything is going great. We've got our parsnips all ready to go, and we've got our chickens who are growing and producing his eggs, and then for our mayonnaise, and we've already got some new ideas to sleep on. How good is that? We're gonna be leveling up our farming. Excellent, what a great start. Right, we still need to get some more parsnips in, because we've only got three gold star parsnips and what we really really need is five because we need to pick that for the quality crop bundle at the community center and if you watched last episode you saw that we got a red cabbage from the trader and that is amazing news because that can be the hardest thing to get from the community center because it's not guaranteed you can't grow red cabbage in year one so that is really tricky let's head into town now that all the chores are finished because that does take some time oh clint is looking for 20 copper ores that would be good, actually, because we could use some copper ores ourselves and some more mining exploration. But first, we need to pick up some more parsnip seeds because we definitely need to make sure we are getting the quality crops done. We just need two more, which means we probably don't need this many. Like the chances of us getting qual like the quality crops is probably pretty good. But I'm not I'm erring on the side of caution here. I think that's always better. But do we want to get any other crops? I don't know. Really want to get some more trees. We definitely need the apple sapling before the end of, well, I guess we have to get it in summer. So as long as we have the apple sapling by summertime, we should be good to go. All right, heading into the mines. I think it's a good idea to do some exploring in here. We need to get deeper, of course, and we need to get the resources. And of course we need to get those copper ores now for Clint. And that will give us a bit of money and it'll make Clint happy. And that's always good. Increasing our friendships, especially if we are trying to get to 100% which uh we'll see we'll see we definitely just first goals first community center finally okay we found the staircase down let's see okay a couple of slimes which is nice i love getting the slime ring and i feel like the earlier you get the slime ring the like happier you can be so a thousand slimes though to slay is quite a lot having the fiber is good especially since we're trying to get caroline to be our friend so she'll give us the tea saplings and we need fiber to grow those i believe so make sure we have those all right, a bit more copper over here. Oh, and luckily there's even a staircase down already. That's nice. I don't have to go searching. Ooh, an infested area. Okay. Wow, these flying bug guys get me a few times. And same with the doggies. If you're not careful and you're not bobbing and weaving, they do get you too. All right, lots of these guys. You have to do these quick. Otherwise they go into a cocoon and then come out as the swarmy guys. And it's not a good time. Ha. All right. Had to be another Dougie, of course, because the staircase didn't open up. There we go. And we can head down. All right. Level 24. One more to go and then we can unlock a new elevator. It is already getting quite late though, 4.30. Uh, so hopefully we can find all the copper we need. I'm, I'm, I feel confident that we can. And then we can head over to Clint's. Although actually, wait, no, he's gonna have a close up shop. But I think he does go to the saloon every night. So we'll just head over to the saloon and we should be able to find him. I love breaking these. It's so satisfying breaking all these barrels. And you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, we got some more carrot seeds, that's nice happy for those now we just need to find a way down so reveal yourself to me there we go and a new elevator has been unlocked oh i don't see any copper ores here maybe we can still find them though when you break a block so maybe we'll get lucky because that feels that does feel quite unlucky okay or not we are four away come on we can do this okay there's some right there hopefully that's the one we needed oh and a ducky excuse me sir okay two more still Let's just get rid of this guy. There we go, okay. Oh my goodness, okay, this is infested. Let's just leave, because we are actually really low on energy and health. And let's go find Clint then. Oh, but walking into town, we see Linus going through the trash, of course. Poor Linus. But you know what, Evelyn does leave some really lovely things in her trash can. Find cookies and sometimes a baguette. So I don't blame him, honestly. Uh-oh, but George is not happy about this. Raccoons. Back at it again. Oh dear. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Good George. Oh, I love him. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off the raccoons? Linus, this is not a good garbage can, my friend. It was me. I'm sorry. Bless him. Do you know what though? He chooses this lifestyle, which is quite interesting. Right. Well, it is a shame for a food to go to waste because I don't know why Evelyn's always throwing out perfectly good baguettes and cookies. Ah, uh, but poor Linus. Okay, he's gone to the saloon. I mean, Gus is such a good guy, though, you know. Wait, I know what you were doing, Linus. Oh, no. And then Linus is so worried. If you 
Need food? Just ask. He doesn't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Oh, I like Gus. Look at him. And look at his jolly smile. Oh, he doesn't need his... Oh, it's so cute. All right. Well, we'll go to bed. Oh, level three farming. The bee house. Oh, that's very exciting, actually, because we need honey as part of the community center. Oh, and we've made a bit of money today with those farming crops. Mayonnaises are just so great, but also selling all those parsnips. Also very good. On to Tuesday. What does today have in store for us? Ooh, Pierre could go for a farm fresh parsnip and we'd get a ticket for doing that. So we definitely want to make sure that we bring Pierre a parsnip with these tickets. Yeah, because this is the first time we've seen a ticket, of course. There's something new inside the mayor's house. He's got like this lovely little ticket machine. And he's trying to encourage people to do good deeds around town by offering them prizes, which is just super exciting. His only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. Oh no, Lewis. Plus the only people who will be doing good deeds around town are us anyways. <laughs> yeah, I just want to help. I mean, to be honest, little in it for the prizes, but we'll help anyways, because we're in it for the friendship of the villagers and a little bit of their money too. Let's just take a little look-see at what the prizes are. Carrot seeds, an orange tree it looks like. Oh, and some sort of other seeds in there. Ones I haven't seen before. All right, Pierre wants that farm fresh parsnip, so we're gonna have to go get that afterwards, but luckily we do have some. I've been keeping some in reserve, which is good for just, you know, for moments like this. So we should be able to get our first ticket today, which is exciting. All right, hello, Clint, good morning. How did you enjoy those copper ores yesterday? Weren't they just lovely? All right, opening all of our geodes. Lots of different things for the museum. Ooh, a duplicate. I mean, a duplicate's not that bad, we can sell it. So I will take it for the money. I mean, I, oh, okay. I don't need it in triplicate though. <laughs> we can just give the things that the museum needs and then we'll probably sell the rest and we'll get some good resources. Oh, another duplicate. Okay, that was pretty good though. We did get a few new things in there. So we'll take those over into the museum. Yes, look at all the stuff to donate to the museum. Stick these in. I am trying to do, ooh, a new reward. I am trying to do some sort of like rainbow effect in here. So we'll have to move things around as we get more things. It's gonna be rough to start and then getting more and more rainbowy as we go on. How do you guys organize your museums? Do you do it in rainbow order? Do you have specific areas for specific things? Do you just toss it in willy nilly? I mean, both valid, all valid. But I, I'm, I'm kind of a rainbow girly. I think I like when it's in a nice like rainbow order. Although I typically put them down once and then I don't change it. Ooh, but we did get some new items of so starfruit seeds and some melon seeds. Perfect for summer growing, which is nice. Oh, well, we could say good morning to Penny. Good morning, Penny. Let's get up to the community center and drop off some of the things we've got. All right, so we've got our crab for our crab pot, of course. Now we're really close. We just need to find that cockle because that's usually, I think, what you find on the beach. Because luckily we got the crab, which means we should be able to finish this quite easily. And down here, this is the one to open the mine carts in the furnace room. What do we got? Okay, so I think all of these are quite easy, but we've got these first two things. Oh wait, didn't we have a... I think we have one of those tiers. I'll have to remember to bring it over. And then we need to get the fire quartz and we have to get quite far down in the mines to get that. But I think getting the mine carts early or kind of as soon as possible is so great because you can just dash around town so much faster than it's gonna be like the same as getting a horse, but all right, let's head in to see what everyone's doing in here. Oh, welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Uh oh, uh oh, not the evil Jojo Corp Joja Corporation. Have you ever done a Jojo Corporation run? Because I honestly have never. I always think like, oh, maybe I should do that because there's there is a Steam achievement for that. But then I've never done it. Oh no, and everyone's going for the coupons. No, you gotta support local. And everyone's been late. Everyone leaves. And poor Pierre, he can't match those prices. Don't worry, Pierre. I'm gonna run Joja out of town. All right, back on our farm. Let's just make sure we're making mayonnaise constantly because that is basically our best money maker at the moment. We need also this parsnip to bring over to Pierre. And then we can get our very first coupon, which I am looking forward to just empty out the old inventory a bit because there's tons of stuff and as you can see there's lots of things that I'm hoarding but we will also sell quite a lot of things I don't need to hold on to everything I do want to keep on like hold on to like the amethyst 
because that is a good gift, but these other two stones can go. Yep, sell all of that. Oh, we probably should not have sold that daffodil, but it's too late, I've already put it in. I wanna keep on, hold on to the daffodils because they are a good gift for Caroline. And you can only get them in the spring, so we'll be hard pressed to come like later in the year when we don't have any daffodils left. All right, this should make Pierre's days brighter after being like, after having Mortimer show up, this, this is gonna make him happy. Plus, it's going to make me happy. I'm gonna get my very first ticket and then we're gonna get some free carrot seeds. There you go, Pierre. And there we go, we got our very first ticket. All right, let's head in to the mayor's house and insert our ticket. Press the button. And just like that, some carrot seeds. Ooh, and then, ooh. All right, what's that thing? Mystery box. Okay, that is so cool. I wanna see what's in a mystery box. And we'll plant our carrot seeds. There we go. That's just free money is what that is. All right, and now those are all watered. Excellent. All right, back up here, we've got a bit of money. I'd like to get in another tree. If we put a summer tree in right now, it would actually produce fruit in time for us. Oh, the apple tree is also a good idea, but in spring we plant the summer trees and then we can get some of the summer fruits before too long. And then in the summer we can plant the autumn trees and then hopefully get some of the autumn fruits. So yeah, if we, can't do, if we do cherry and apricot now, it doesn't make sense because we wouldn't get them in time. We'd, they wouldn't grow until next year. So we have to get the spring tree. No, no, sorry, we have to get the summer tree. So let's buy a summer tree and we'll take it home. And then I have to decide where to put it. I think down here and maybe like right across this line, kind of horizontally here, we'll put all of our trees. Now it's gonna be a bit weird if I put the orange tree here because then the summers are first, but that's fine. Maybe it'll be like summer, then autumn, and then the spring trees at the end. Something like that, we'll have to see. Let's head to bed. Another successful day. Didn't make too much money. There's the daffodil that I probably shouldn't have sold. And these were not worth all that much, to be fair. Watering is so tedious at the beginning of the game. I always forget about this. You just spend so much of your life just watering. Like, and so much energy as well. And then also, like, the watering can doesn't have that much capacity, so you're constantly filling the watering can up. It's like a whole thing. Oh, chores. All right, ooh, a new thing. Oh, this one doesn't give a ticket, but... Clint needs some help. He needs us to get some coal, so we'll go do that. Plus, it wouldn't hurt for us to go back into the mines. We need to get down, and it is difficult to get down quickly, so we need to be kind of doing this as often as possible, I think. Not too much interesting on this floor, but oh, we got some mixed seeds, and I'll never be upset about mixed seeds. Right, there we got our first coal. Uh, still no staircase down, though. There we go. Heading down another floor. Oh, there's at least some coal on this one. A bit more interesting on this floor. If only these darn bugs would stop pestering me. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> we need some bug spray. Lots of copper ore. Now, the other thing about getting coal is it is, bit, it is trickier when you have to get coal. Uh, because, you I mean, you can't just see it. You just have to hope for the best. Get lucky with the coal. Although, I suppose if you found, like, a backpack or one of those um, coal carts, the mine carts with the coal inside them, then that's quite convenient if we find one of those. But then that is also just quite luck, isn't it? Whether you find those. I don't know if they're on specific floors or not. What is this? A mining monthly? Mining monthly? We can read it and we gain experience. So we've got some mining experience and now we've got some new ideas to sleep on. That is so cool. I didn't know you would just find those books randomly. All right, our very first book. All right, working our way down, we have hit level 30. Oh no, which means we're now in like this dark, scary area. But I think, don't you find more coal in this area? Or am I mistaken on that? Don't these things drop coal? Oh no, wait, maybe these guys don't drop coal. It's those little like black fuzzy things that bounce around that drop coal. This just drops stone. Not as exciting, I will admit. Now this, I, I hate this level. I once had a, I broke a block and then the staircase spawned in a dark spot and I couldn't see it. And I spent ages wandering around this level, looking for the staircase. Oh, so rough. And like, you just can't see the enemies. And it's always worse because you can like hear them sneaking up on you and you can't see them. Oh boy. Ooh, but there's a red mushroom. Definitely want to get over to that. All right, starting to feel exhausted. I mean, I really would want to get down, but there's no way we're getting down any further. So, oh my goodness. 
let's oh actually do you know what we have some food let's eat some salmon berries and we can push on a little bit further it's only five o'clock or well, not even quite five o'clock yet so we could see about getting all the way well down to 35 at least plus we haven't found all that coal yet okay one more floor to get down i feel like we can do that we are pretty tired, but we do still have some berries if we need them. And then that would be a very successful day, getting down 10 levels in the mines. Because we do, of course, need to get all the way down to, like, the lava-y levels. Right, eat some more salmon berries. They don't provide a lot of energy, but 25 each, I guess. It's not terrible. And we do have a few, so... Love when it's berry season. Just getting, like, free food for free energy. And there we go. Hit level 35. Haven't found all our coal, but it's time to go home anyways. All right, and we'll head straight to bed. Ooh, and of course, mining is leveled up because we've read that book, so that's good. We can now craft the miner's tree. Oh, and our combat as well. Oh, fantastic. Getting stronger all the time. And we sold our very first green beans today. They are not worth very much. That is a bit annoying, but at least they continue to grow. Oh, and our unmilled rice. But the potatoes are nice because you, of course, get many of them. All right, we're only halfway on the coal collection, so I guess that's something we're going to be doing today. The spirits are feeling neutral. We can do it. Five coal. That's not impossible, right? And we need to get in the mines anyways. We need to get further and further. And we need to get these crops watered. And of course, the watering can is almost empty. I feel like this farm layout means I probably will get a well at some point. Although, I also feel like I'll probably just keep saying that and never actually doing it. Because your watering can just runs out so quickly. And then, of course, you have to run all the way across. Although, it has been quite handy. So when I need to fill my water, I come over here and I pet the chickens. And get the eggs and fill the water all at once. And that's quite convenient, actually. Because it's like I have to come over here anyways. So might as well get it all done. And of course, the mayonnaise production has been ticking along nicely. Making us some money each day. All right, get the rest of the turps watered. In super fast mode, we just need to find five more coal. It's not so much, really. So just super quickly zooming through these mines and seeing what we can find. Slaying the bugs as we go and hoping to not get uh, get too damaged here. Oh, finding a coal minecart. That's exactly what we needed. That is perfect. So the coal minecart, I have completed that quest. We'll just need to find Clint later and show him our fantastic coals. Right, these guys are very hard to kill. They're very persistent. Go, oh, shoot, shoot. But with another level down, we are now in level 40. And that means we've completed a quest and also a treasure chest. And we're going to be into the icy area. So we're going to be finding some new items. And it's all going to be lovely and exciting. Now, I don't use the slingshot. So that's not the best treasure ever. So a little bit disappointed in getting a slingshot because I don't use it. But oh, but these are the jumping guys that I was talking about earlier that give us the coal. And there's also some slimes in here. Now, everything is going to be a bit more difficult because we have we need to upgrade our tools again soon. All right, already exhausted though, but we did make it quite far down there. Well, another five levels, which is good. And we've got lots of new resources. We just need... Oh, now we need to reach the bottom. And we need to go talk to Clint. So let's go try to see if we can find Clint. And we're heading into the museum as well as we do have a ruby to drop off because Gunther's going to want that, which puts our first little red block in, which looks lovely for our rainbow continuing on. And oh, of course, Clint is closed. We came a bit too late. We'll have to wait. He will go to the saloon later, so we'll just have to catch him later on. Let's just go down and check the beach and see what we can find because we want to make sure we're picking up all the coral and shells because it is worth, you know, a bit of money. All right, in the saloon, we might as well have a little chat with everyone who's in here. I'd love to be able to buy them a drink, but money is still very, very tight at this point, so better not. But let's take a look and see what else he's got. He's got the recipes in here. Now, we're going to need to get those at some point. All right, Clint, where are you? You should be here by now. It's 7.30. There you are. You're just walking in. All right, here's the ores that you requested, sir. Excellent. Okay, good. So, finished that one now. We get to keep the ores, make a bit of money, all in a day's work. Plus, I wonder if the more community challenges we finish, the, the more, like, rewards we'll get from the community center board. Carrots are worth 52. I mean, it's not a ton, but to be fair, we aren't buying those seeds. We don't have to pay for those seeds, so that actually is not that bad. And, of course, the coral is worth quite a bit, so that's a nice one. And the clam and mussel, well, they are worth something. 
We made 1,200 today, though. That is actually quite good. All right, let's super fast get all these chores done here. Picking all these carrots. Oh, man, look at that. We've got everything ready today. How nice is that? And we've got six gold star parsnips, which is excellent news. Oh, and Jody would like a cauliflower. Well, luckily for you, Jody, I have some cauliflowers. All right, we need another chest. We need to get organized. Our chests are getting way too full. I'm going to also set the colors. Now, green I use for vegetables. Blue I use for ocean. Gray is for like resourcey type things. And yellow will be for our seeds. So let's get our spare vegetables put into the green container. Later on, I'll probably do like a purple one and it might be for like either foraging stuff or maybe flowers. I do typically color code the chest at some point. I can't believe actually it's taken me this long to decide to do that. But now we can spend a little bit of time trying to get that stuff all sorted because of course, yeah, it is otherwise just a big mess. We'll get all these crops planted and yeah, tons of things are going to grow. I think we're going to grow the spring foraging seeds as well. Might as well. I think they grow in one week. So if we plant them now, they'll be done before summer. So, and then we'll just have a bit of extra money of like all those forgeable items we're going to be able to get rid of. All right, we've got a few things to be taking around town. So we need to go drop off our quality crop bundles. All right, now we need to find Caroline to give her this daffodil and Jody to give her a cauliflower. So gonna be hunting around town. She, nobody's in Pierre's. I wonder if Jody is in her own house. Let's just come and have a peek. Jody, good morning. I've got your cauliflower. Nope, no Jody. Okay, she's not at home. Where could she be? You know, I think Jody and Caroline actually hang out together occasionally. So maybe they're together somewhere. Emily, have you seen Jody and Caroline? No? Okay, well, I wonder where else they'd be. I don't think they'd be in the saloon. No, not in the saloon. Do they hang out on the beach? No. Okay, maybe in the museum. Sometimes people hang out in the museum. Oh, good. Okay, there's Caroline. So let's go over and give Caroline her daffodil. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. What did I just do? I gave her a, the cauliflower. No, that's not your cauliflower. I'm so sorry, Carol. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, I think... Like, she's neutral towards cauliflower, I think, but she likes the daffodils, so... We... Oh. Oh, that's so annoying. I, I must have just... I just scrolled across. Oh. All right, well... Well, I guess let's go find Jody. All right. Vincent, is your mother home? She is still not home. And now you're home alone. I don't know if that's the best idea. Penny, should you really be dropping these children off when no one's home? Because, like, Jazz's parents are not going to be home either, or Jazz's auntie, be because Marnie's not at home. There we are. Hello, Jody. Here is your cauliflower. At least I gave her the cauliflower, not the daffodil. And, of course, it's Friday, so we do need to check out the wandering trader and see if they have anything interesting in here. What kind of things do we need? Oh, the void essence is something that we need for the community center, but we don't... We can find it ourselves. They're not that hard to find. We just have to get a bit further down. The other thing would be maybe we need buying a rare seed. But I think they all think you plant them in the autumn, so we probably don't need to waste the money on it just now. All right, so I guess there's nothing here we need today. Thank you, though. But it is nighttime, and we do actually need a river nighttime fish. We are looking for a bream. So let's just quickly see if we can find a bream, because they only come out in the nighttime. And he's hooked. Let's see what do we got. If we can get, oh, a treasure chest even... So that's nice. Let's grab the treasure chest. And then quick, don't lose the fish. Quick, don't lose the fish. Oh, that was that was risky, that was. Ah, oh, perfect. On the first try. And, oh, a frozen tear. Okay, so we could donate to that to the museum. But we do also need it for the community center. So I guess it's time to head home and head to bed. All right. Oh, and then we've leveled up our farming. Oh, that means we get our preserves jar. Oh, this is excellent news. We can start making way more money if we start making jellies and jams and pickled substances and in the new update there's a fun little tree of now things are colored differently so i can't wait to get that in and start pickling all right lots of things to water today so let's super fast get that done and then we're going to need to head into town we're gonna to be able to drop off our first tool to be upgraded now I think the best two to upgrade at the beginning are either the copper axe or the pickaxe. 
I mean, the watering can would be nice, but of course it has to be like a rainy day to be able to do that. And then you have to hope the next day is also a rainy day. So not ideal. We need the, I think the copper ax and we can start getting hardwood. Yeah, let's go for the copper ax. Then we can start getting hardwood, which means we'll have a few more recipes that are open up. Whereas if we get the better pickaxe, well, we'd be able to mine a bit faster. Uh, we don't actually get any new resources from that. We just get resources quicker. I mean, both are good. Caroline, I've got a daffodil for you today. An actual daffodil. And Jody wanted a green bean today. So now we can make Jody happy with her green bean. And oh, look, we've reached a new achievement. Greenhorn, we have made 15K. I mean, looking at my current bank account, it certainly doesn't feel like we've made 15K, but okay, fine. All right, it's time to head back into the mines. And we're heading into the frozen area, of course. So we should be able to find some new resources and get some iron built up because we're going to need iron. Once we've got those tools to copper, we're going to want to get them to be steel tools as well. So that will be very good. All right, I've spent a significant amount of time mining. We got down to level 45. And I think getting the blacksmith's bundle is going to be quite easy. Although copper we've got already and the iron one we'll have in no time. And then just the gold one, but we do have to get down quite far to get gold, but I think we can do it. We just need to really focus, I think. All right, quickly into be my inventory. Things are a bit more organized here and we'll hop into bed because it's the end of Saturday. And of course, selling coral is definitely just worth it. And also we had some forgeables as well. And oh, waking up on the 21st here on Sunday, the bookseller is in town today. Okay, this is a brand new event that I'm super excited about. I want to go see what he's got. But first, of course, it's Sunday, so we need to go to the Wandering Trader to see if she's got anything we need. Oh, the crystal fruit we do actually need. That would be for the winter forging bundle, but we could just get that in the winter. I don't know if we'll get the other things in time that that would actually make it make a difference or not. I think we'll just hold off on that. Plus, I think we can also find it in the cold caves. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's grab all the things that we can do to continue on our community center and then we'll head into town. Oh, and look, there's a new little sign and the sign has a little air balloon on it pointing this way. Okay, we have to go. Let's see what this is all about. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right, look, there he is. Oh my goodness, look at the balloon. Oh, it's so patched up. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. I absolutely love it. It looks just amazing. We've got the way of the wind part one. Oh, that's gonna make us run faster. Horse, the book, gain a little extra speed when riding a horse. That sounds amazing too. Or all slither legs. You'll now run a lot faster through grass and crops. That's cool too, because you do actually slow down when moving through grass and crops. That, oh, that's cool. But 25,000 for these ones. Oh my goodness. And finally, a price catalog. So you can see the value of your items. <gasps> that's actually really kind of cool. Now we could get that technically. We do have 3000, but yeah, I don't think it helps us on our journey of getting the community center done in year one. So I think I'm gonna hold off on that because that 3000 could be better spent on upgrading the chicken coop or getting ourselves a barn or even the bigger backpack would be helpful. So we're gonna have to pass on it for now, Marcelo. But thank you so much for stopping by and we'll definitely be back. We will definitely be back. All right, let's drop off the stuff in the community center that we have. And I mean, we are getting so close to having the minecarts repaired, but of course, it just means we have to get so much deeper into the mines. And I've got, oh, we we've got a peach. Fantastic. So we can drop that off. Now, the jelly we should be able to get now because we have the new preserves thing. So these things, I feel like it's going to be doable. Our orange, we're going to have no problem. The apple, we should be able to get. And then I guess it's just a matter of getting the animals and getting those things in. Oh, and technically the honey. I'm sure we'll get the honey at some point as well fairly soon all right we've got the random winter route for the winter foraging bundle and then there's the crystal fruit so we could have bought that but i don't think there's a point because we're gonna just get that in the winter it'll be absolutely fine all right and let's just drop off the frozen tier and jade to our good friend gunther in the museum and then i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day chatting up some of the villagers making sure all of the chores are done on our farm 
and actually cutting down quite a bit of trees because we are kind of in need of wood and there are a lot of trees on the island that we haven't gotten to yet. And something else that I discovered that you probably already know about is, look, there's a little bridge back here. So behind this tree, it's super hidden because you can't, like, with the tree there, before you cut it down, you can't actually see this little bridge, but you can actually access this kind of like northern part of the island. I mean, that's so cool. I don't know what we'll put up there eventually, but that is amazing. Maybe like the shed so you can put the like um, uh, kegs in there or something. I don't quite know. But after a very exhausting week, it is time to say good night on the end of week three. I hope you've been enjoying the Stardew Valley episodes as much as I have. And if you do enjoy them, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.